Here we are in another election, and polling dominates the news headlines. Well, I'd like you to give second thought to the impact of polling, our election narrative, and how things could be better. Here's an audio clip that someone kindly sent me about a poll recently taken in Fredericton North. It takes about a minute. Have a listen. Hello, this is Canadian National Public Research. We are conducting a short poll in your area today for Public Research Academy. Our address is qualitative at nationalpublicresearchcanada.com and our phone number is 1-888-687-3083. All responses are confidential and are used to determine local issues that are important to you in your local area. If the election was held today, out of this following list of potential candidates, which individual would you support or lean most towards supporting? If it is Stephen Horseman, the Liberal candidate, please press 3. If it is Jill Green, the Progressive Conservative candidate, please press 4. If it is Tamara White, the Green Party candidate, please press 5. If it is Dennis Acheson, the New Democratic Party candidate, please press 6. If it is Lynn King, the People's Alliance candidate, please press 7. If you are unsure or undecided, Please press 9. So just to be clear, I am not running as a candidate in Fredericton North. And yet that poll turned into a news story, and that news story is fed to you, and you believe that this is the way people's preferences are for voting early in the election. So now here's another piece of information. A person down in the Moncton South area had just received an automated phone call and put this post up on their Facebook page. Just had an automated phone call asking questions about voter intentions in Moncton South. It asked only four questions. What leader would you vote for? What candidate in Moncton South would you vote for? And it only listed two, the Liberal and the Conservative. Then it asked, what's your age? And then it asked if you're male or female. This too becomes a news story, letting you believe that there's really only two choices in that particular constituency. August 22nd, the political cartoon shows just three choices. The Liberal campaign bus pulling out with a screech, the Conservative and the NDP bus at a standstill waiting for the start. Then CBC on August 21st has a story saying that 39.2% support the Liberals and only a few points ahead of the Conservatives with 357 Shortly after that is another CBC story covering People's Alliance when they did their campaign launch, and it has this piece in it. The People's Alliance has been gaining support in this election, but it's still the lowest scoring party in average polling. Nowhere was there mention of Greens. Nowhere was there mention of independent candidates. The point is, polling and media are supposed to give voters the full range of choices that you have in this election so that you can make the best choice possible. It's very clear early on in this election that that concern is not the primary focus for media or polling. That means it's up to you, the voter. And if anything is going to change in this election, it has to be voter behavior. So please go out, try to find the information for the constituents in your particular area, phone, Google, talk to people and try to get the best information you can, because in the end, it's going to be up to you. That's how I see it. Thanks for watching. Support the show, share the show, make comments. Be good, have fun, love each other.